All right. Happy Tuesday, everybody. So I, you can instantly change my morning. As soon as I get everybody on and everybody starts smiling and the mojo starts working, I can feel my energy level start to crawl up. And I'm like, yeah, this is great. So hang around to the end. I hope he joins us in just a little bit. I got a great friend out in North Carolina, Chuck Heath. I'm going to give away a book this morning at the end. It's called, What Are You Thinking? What are you thinking? The Power of Positive Thought Selection. It is a really good read. Chuck Heath wrote it uh, out in North Carolina, a great buddy of mine. So the word for today, and I want to tell you, I'm going to put myself out there today, okay? It's loyalty. Loyalty. The word for today. If you really look up the definition of that, it's a strong feeling of support and allegiance. And I kind of looked up and I, I, I started looking up words that surrounded loyalty. I want you to think about yourself. That's what I did this morning, okay? Relationships, support, service, care, help, company, value, satisfaction, experience, focus, needs, improvement. I'm sorry, important, important. See, I've... I went kind of somewhere I didn't think I would go with this word, but it just, it spoke to me and it was hitting my heart this morning. Because if you were to ask Brent Palmer, hey Brent, are you a loyal person? I'd look at you and go, heck yes, to the core. How many of you would say that to you? I mean, it, it's okay. I, I, I would look at you and go, I got you back. I'm loyal to the core. But I got to ask myself, really, am I really? Even as loyal as the dog who would follow her owner to work every day and stay seated at the train station all day until, until her owner came home. You see, the owner ended up dying. And the dog, she kept showing up at the train station every single day until she died. I wrote that down. That's a, a read that is out there. But see, to me, this is loyalty. The devotion of your life, putting the other person over your own needs and wants. And I'll be honest with you, when I read that, it was like a little hit in my stomach because I have to tell you, I have to be honest with you. Sometimes I'm loyal if it's convenient for me. How many of you can relate to that? You don't have to raise your hand, but, but, but I, there's times in my life, there's, I mean, very recent that I'm loyal because it's convenient. And a lot of times, I let selfish things get in the way and keep me from being loyal. And it's normally because I'm just being selfish. I, I want my wants. I want my needs. And I don't have time because that loyalty, that being loyal is inconvenient to me at that point. And when I read this word, I thought, Brent, this is perfect for you because what it, what it, really, really hits to the root of is loyalty is something that I've got to continue to work on and not assume that I have arrived. It's something that I've got to work on every day. And so, Coach, thank you for the word this morning because it really brought me back and thought, you know, because at the beginning, I'd say, heck yeah, I'm loyal, I'm loyal. But what I really realized when I really dug into this word is, Brent, you got to work on loyalty every single day to make sure that you're doing what you need to be doing. So, Coach, I'll turn it to you. Thanks, Coach. Um, the, the story about the dog just really got to me this morning when he sent that over to me. I was like, if there's ever been a greater example of loyalty, that's got to be it. So... 
But like Brent, I, when I started digging into this, I would have said the same thing. <clears throat> yes, sir, all the time, yes. I'm very loyal. <clears throat> but sometimes we do get into when it's convenient. Uh, you know, we just have to look in the mirror and be honest with ourselves on this. So another definition that I found was giving or show firm and constant support to a person or an institution. You know, being loyal is to stand by a person whether he or she is right. I know uh, one situation I had here, I don't know uh, if many of you have ever heard of the name Harlan Hill. Harlan Hill was my principal, my boss at Brooks High School. Harlan Hill was the recipient. Uh, he is what the Division II Heisman Trophy Award is named after Harlan Hill. He played for the Chicago Bears, but I was blessed to have him as a principal for 10 years. And I'll never forget, and this is a good example of loyalty. He told all of us coaches, we built a new gymnasium. He said, and I'm gonna tell y'all something. He said, you give this key out. He said, I'm gonna support you one time, but if you're crazy enough to give it out to somebody else, I don't know if I can, but he was loyal in his point that he was going to support us if we messed up one time. But I can promise you nobody on that staff <laughs> gave out that key out of respect for him. But I'm fixing to ask, these are things that I turned on myself and in the research, in the research that I did on this, I gotta be quite honest with you. I was going all over the place and got broad and I found so many quality things about loyalty from a child. So I'm going to take these and throw them at you. And I think they're going to resonate with you. And I've got a big question for us all at the end. Loyalty stands out. It's what we all want. And once you experience it, you never want to be without it. With loyalty, you're never alone. You're always a part. Loyalty is like a guardian or a friend. It always gives and never argues. Loyalty is always side by side with us and never betrays us. Loyalty expects nothing in return. It also generously gives time and energy, never complains when times are hard. Loyalty keeps secrets and not grudges. It's a com it is completely trustworthy. Loyalty is a master in building alliances, not walls. Loyalty always has time for one more. Loyalty is a defender of the weak. With loyalty, your strength is unmatched. Loyalty inspires hope. My question to you and to me, are we loyal? Take the message today. Seek to be even a more loyal person than I know you are. Look for opportunities to help the weak. Stand by your friends, support them. Stand by your enemies, help them be that difference maker. Anyway, everybody have a great day. Been enjoyed this morning. Coach, thank you so much. Thanks for the word. You know, I just think there's always that person. You know, I'm, I'm looking at Adam right now, and I'm, I'm just thinking about our work, our life, our business. You know, like there's always that person that we could be just a little bit more loyal to. And I, I think that's what this word really drove home to me today is there's people in my life that I can show a little bit more time to so and, and 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 be that more loyal person for them. So thanks for this. Thanks for the message. We're gonna give away a book right now. And I promise you, whoever wins this, there's gonna be little little reads in here every day that you're gonna be like, wow, this is a big one. Um again, buddy of mine, Chuck Heath out of North Carolina. What are you thinking? The power of positive thought selection. So um let's um Let's hashtag mindset. It really is a mindset, even loyalty. It's a mindset. Let's go mindset on the hashtag. And let's see right quick. Five, four, three, 
two, one, time. Miss Andrea Rosser, our partner in crime, who is the winner? Oh, I forgot how to unmute myself. So <laughs> congratulations to Mr. Jimmy Smith out there enjoying the weather in Florida this morning. Yeah, all right. Jimmy Smith, West Palm. We'll be sending that. Jimmy, if you can, if you'll reach out to Andrea Rosser, just give Andrea your address. We'll be sending you this book. I promise you, you'll be blessed by it. We're grateful for you today. Let's find somebody today, make them have a better day because we showed up. Happy Tuesday. Let's go rock the day. Have a good one.